On behalf of GoTech, I'm Gilbert Oviedo. I'm here at the 2010 CES show, and I'm here with uh, James Metz, and he's with Ben Cauldron, and uh, he's got some great technology out that we'd like to hear more about. Sure. So we're looking at electronic shutter glasses. So these are glasses where the television is going left, right, left, right, and then the glasses have to keep the left image out of the right eye. And the way they do that is they're actually using liquid crystal displays as the lens as the lenses, so that the black light is kept so that they turn black and keep the left light out of the right eye. So every other eye gets every other frame. We do that so fast you get a full 1080p60 to each eye. So what's different about these glasses is when you see other glasses demos here in the show, their glasses are hiding in the dark. They build these big black caves because their glasses use infrared technology. Infrared gets interfered with by the lights at the show, by sunlight, by compact fluorescence, by the light coming out of the display itself, and by remote controls. So what we've done with these glasses are these are the most reliable shutter glasses at the show, and what we've done is we've used Zigbee radios to send RF packets to these glasses, and we actually have a really robust error recovery mechanism. So we can actually put these glasses right on top of a Wi-Fi router, have that router blow away 99% of our packets, and still have these glasses work perfectly, as opposed to other glasses that flicker when they lose one packet. So when you put these things on, you don't worry about goofy glasses, you don't hate the flicker glasses, you put these on, you see a great 3D experience, you enjoy the content, you enjoy the game, you have a great time watching 3D, and that's what this show's all about. Awesome. James, i got a question for you. Okay, so we've got technology in the glasses. What about technology in TVs? So the, this year is the year of the 3D-ready TV. So you're going to see all the major manufacturers here on the floor showing off 3D-ready TVs. So most of those 3D-ready TVs have a standard port in the back that anybody's glasses can plug into. So these are the universal remote control of 3D glasses. You can plug these into almost any, pair, almost any TV at the show and watch great 3D on those TVs. And then also, you're standing here at the AMD booth because we're also showing off computer gaming. But you can actually put on a player glasses and take an existing computer game and play it in 3D. You know, one thing I noticed about these glasses, they have, I see a micro USB. Now, you, what can you tell me about this? Can I come in here and plug in my computer and program it? So what you can do with this micro USB port is you can actually recharge them. Micro USB is just like you can take the charger that comes with these or your cell phone charger or a USB cable, plug these glasses in, they'll fill up and they'll get about a 60 hour charge being plugged into the computer. Which compare that to some other glasses that are USB rechargeable, they're running about 40 hours. So you get a whole long time to gameplay between plugging in. Now if you do want to program these, with the TV version you just plug them in, you enjoy great movies, there's nothing you have to program, you literally just put them on your face and watch TV. In the gaming case, gamers love control. So you can get into the software, there's lots of knobs you can turn, you can adjust, do I want these brighter, do I want them to do different things, you know, all the sort of knobs gamers like to tune up to really go from like the 99% perfect to the 100% perfect experience. We give the gamers those controls because we know they love them and they'll take the time to go turn the knobs and make them work. No, you're absolutely right. You know, I, I also have another question. Okay, so, I mean, will, will, will these, will I need like an additional radio frequency adapter to plug into my TV in order to use these radio glasses? There's a little RF transmitter. It looks about the size of a USB flash drive and there's a hole right in the back of the TV they plug into. So if it's a 3D ready TV, most of the 3D ready TVs have that port and you just plug this thing in the back and go. If it's a computer, we use USB and you already know how to plug a USB flash drive into your computer or one for your mouse or your keyboard and you get that exact same experience. Now in the future, as you see the next round of integration, as RF4CE goes into televisions, you'll see that transmitter built right into a laptop, or right into a TV, and you won't even have to. It'll go from a three-step install, you know, plug it in, put on glasses, enjoy, to a zero-step install. Transmitters in the television, you just put on the glasses and go. Yeah, I got one last question. Uh, um, so, Big uh, Cauldron is uh, this is this is new technology, not new technology, a new concept uh, here at CES. Now. Uh, this isn't going to be out in the stores anytime soon. Or, 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 or. So second half of the year, you're going to see a whole lot of glasses with our technology in them other, under other manufacturers' names. So the model's the remote control. You go into a store, you have 50 different brands, but you only have a couple sets of guts inside. It's the same thing with these glasses. We believe in standards and interoperability, so you'll have a whole lot of different displays that'll work with these glasses. You'll have a whole lot of glasses with different brand names on them, and we're the guts that make sure the best of those glasses all work really, really well. So you're the, you're the backbone. We are the we are the backbone. We're the the map that makes it work, and then the manufacturers who really know how to make you know maybe different frames that fit in different ways that have the rest of that experience you want in terms of looking cool. They'll do the looking cool. We'll do the working.